Hey chatters, I'm very excited to announce an upgrade to Claude Sidian. This will probably be the last video I do on this. I've done quite a few in order, but I made a major upgrade and I just want to walk you through what I've done and how it works. Please note that if you have already downloaded Claude Sidian, you're going to need to do some resetup of things or if you downloaded the pre-release version of this, you're probably going to have to redo some of the setup. So just make sure that you're going to set up instructions and just follow these instructions again before you actually get started or try to use it. Okay, so what did I change? The main thing I added here was memory. And by memory, what I mean is that I added embeddings or retrieval augmented generation to Claude Sidian's toolkit. So now what it can do is you can actually set up, at least for now, using OpenAI embeddings in the model. It'll take all the files in your vault, turn them into a vector database, which can then be queried by Claude in, if it has Claude City and set up. So you can come into usage and you can check out what you've been doing. And you can see here, we have a few different things that we're saving. The first is the file embedding. So that's all of your notes. The second is memory traces which is every single tool call now that Claude does, it's gonna save that as a memory trace. So it can actually go back through what it did and reference it. And then we have these three different sort of forms of memory, workspaces, sessions, and snapshots. I'm gonna show you what those are in a minute, but the idea here is a workspace is like a folder, a full project. A session is the conversation that you're having in that moment. And a state is if you're playing an emulator or something like that, you save state. It just makes you so you can load that state up and it'll have memory of where you left off in that conversation. To set this up, I'll probably do a separate video, but again, all you got to do is come in here. You're going to have to give your API key. It'll turn on embeddings. You'll say start and it'll start going. I will say, just be careful. Maybe you don't want to do your whole vault or maybe test this out on a smaller vault first. And there's some settings here you can set. I've tried to make it as default friendly as possible. But a couple of things you should probably think about is this indexing schedule. So when is it in the moment doing these embeddings? I would honestly probably say save that to something like idle or startup. And then setting your batch size or whatever. But then most importantly is this exclusion pattern. So if there are any files or folders you do not want it to embed, make sure you're sticking those in here. And then as always, once you update everything, set it up, restart before you try to do anything. Okay, let's head over to Claude so I can show you what we've actually changed in this version. Let's start with talking about memory. So if I come into the tool here, settings, and I scroll down and I click on this and enable it, you're gonna see now we have all these new tools, including the vector manager and the memory manager. I've renamed a couple of things as well. I improved a lot of the tooling. Hopefully you won't notice, but the idea is I wanna reduce the number of errors. Okay, so all I'm gonna say is load up my vibe coding workspace. So I've been writing this blog series on something that I call the packed framework related to vibe coding and how to do it effectively. And I've been writing that with the help of Claude Sidian and this new memory features. Another thing I wanna mention while it's going through this process is you can finally now with Claude 4 use thinking and tools. It was a little iffy to do this beforehand, but you can see now it's thinking first and then it's gonna start actually using its tools then think, then tool, then think, then tool. This makes it a lot more effective and able to infer what you want it to do without a ton of back and forth. So you can see I got the professor back here with the prompt, so he's greeting me. And now what he's doing is he's going and reading this brain document that I've created, which essentially just tells it like, how do you navigate my vault? How do I want you to work? Then it's doing the memory manager. So it's listing its workspace memories. And you can see that it's listed everything here. It doesn't look nice because it's in JSON. It finds it and now it's gonna actually use the load workspace. So we're gonna look at what that looks like in a second after it responds so I can walk you through what we actually mean by it's saving the workspace and loading it up. So if I come into the code, the JSON, you can see that it successfully loaded the workspace. And what that means is it has an ID, a name, it describes what's in this workspace where the root folder is, a summary of what we're doing in there, key file instructions, the recent files that I've been opening and using, the key files, associated notes. So for example, if there are notes that aren't in that project folder, 
like a template you like to use or whatever, you can say add that to the associated notes and it would toss it in here. And then it lists all the sessions and states that you've used in that workspace. And this allows you to, again, be like, hey, can you remind me what we were doing a session or two ago? And it can load up that session's information and tell you what you were talking about. So it's loaded up this workspace. And what that also means is that it's cached every single thing that you've done with that workspace, just so it's very quick for you to be able to interact with it. Okay, so now I'll say, can you tell me about the PACT framework? And what it should do is go and find all of the articles and things related to the PACT framework in here and do a search. So you can see here it's searching. It's reading. And you can see this is something I made up. So, you know, normally it might make something up because I didn't tell it what it's supposed to look for. But you see it found the right files, it read it, and now it's reporting back to me what the PACT framework is. Okay, so let's do a couple other tools just to show you how they work. So I've really improved the search capabilities. And as part of that, we can do vector search. So do a vector search of the PACT framework and read a couple more articles about it to help me learn. And not only can you do a vector search, but we have the vector manager. And so even within here, you can create your own vector database with your files or whatever, but literally tell, go make an embedding that says this or whatever you want to do. And we'll have, it will have access to that. So it ran the vector embedding. You see, we have the query and now it's returned. Another thing I added to this version of Cloudsidian is something I'm just calling a handoff where it can do multiple tool calls in one go. So I just asked it to test using its handoff tool. And the idea here is that it should be able to have multiple tool calls in just one rather than having to do separate tool calls. So you can see right near, right here, it's doing a read content and then it's looking and searching for stuff. You can see what happened. And it both read it and found information all in one call. <laughs> I don't know if it actually timed itself, but the idea here is you can do these more complex things that are multi-step or maybe something doesn't need to be done step by step. This can be done in parallel with this just allows you to have a little bit more orchestration capability if you just ask it. Okay. Let's just say save state. So remember we have three levels of memory, the workspace, which we loaded up the session, which is the conversation we're having now. And then our state, which is like in the moment in that conversation, something I wanted to remember. So. We're going to let it save this state and then I'm going to start a new conversation and I'm going to ask it, Hey, can you tell me what we last talked about essentially? Okay. So here we are. We're going to start a new conversation. All I'm saying is load up the latest state from our Vi coding workspace and we're going to see what it comes up with. Haha, <laughs> there you go. This is what we just talked about the parallel handoff. So. You can see it's loading the information that we just talked about so that hopefully it can be a more seamless conversation of like when you hit that limit or you're starting a new conversation, you want it to have the context related to something else. So you can start something new within a workspace. Here you go. It's saving as it goes along. As a reminder, if this is your first time downloading this, you're going to want to go to our flows. I'll put the link in the description. We have a video showing you how to get this into your vault since it's not actually in the community plugins list. It's free though, don't worry. All you need is a Claude desktop saved on your computer and accessible and Obsidian. And then assuming that this is your first time, you're not gonna have to do anything special. If you are updating, you can just go to this update plugin button and it will update for you automatically to the latest version. Just make sure again that you're fully restarting Obsidian so that everything takes hold. And if you had this downloaded and set up before, you're gonna have to go back to setup instructions and in particular, redo your configuration. 
As you can see here, we now have a specific vault name. This is super important because with this version two, you can actually add in multiple vaults. They're just, you add another Claude City and MCP, whatever the vault name is and the location as a new MCP in your config. If you don't know how to do that, just reach out. Happy to give more examples. The idea though, is that now you can actually add in multiple vaults, but to do that, I need an identifier for each vault. And if you had a previous version, this wasn't in there. So you're going to have to update your Claude config for this to work. And again, just make sure you're quitting out and restarting everything before you get started. So that's it. Have fun with Claude Sidian. I hope you can feel the power that this gives you. I use this every day, almost all day to keep track of things, to really be my second brain. We're finally getting to that point now, I feel like. So have fun and please, if you have issues, if you run into bugs, just leave something on the GitHub, post about it in YouTube, wherever you can find me, send a message. I can only do so much by myself. And so I really need people testing this and giving feedback. So let me know how it goes and have fun with Cloud City and chatters.